What's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Supreme back on the video. We got the greatest lie ever told about Africans. Now, if you're new here, welcome to the channel, homies. Just be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you can see more bangers from your boy. You feel me? Because the grind never stops. But at today, so we got some more very, very interesting historical videos, bro. Um, we got into a lot, no, nah, not a lot, but quite a few so far but we're getting to get we're just scratching the surface though we're just scratching the surface y'all have been really flooding the comments y'all giving me such interesting such fascinating suggestions and recommendations on what videos i should get to next bro and it's just i'm loving this new part of my channel and this journey on my channel i'm going through and i'm just you know finding out about the truth you know what i'm saying as this video says the greatest lie ever told about africans you know what i'm saying there's so much lies you know told to us so much um truth that is hidden and uh i feel like it's the journey right now on this channel um to get to see some more of the truth bro you feel me i love um, you know, getting more awareness on different things. I love finding the deeper levels of things, not just surface level. I love all that. You know, knowledge is really fascinating to me. I just love gathering more and more of that. You feel me? So, another video that I saw in the comments suggested. Thank you so much for all y'all amazing suggestions. And uh, y'all know all the video uploads I do, I get from y'all in the comments section, y'all recommendations. So be sure to keep flooding the comments down below on what y'all want to see next. But you know what the deal is? Road to 50K, so you know the grind doesn't stop. So be sure to turn on those post notifications because these videos will continuously be posted. And yeah, bro, but I'm about to, we about to get to some very, very more interesting videos. And I got a lot more of these on deck. But be sure to keep commenting down below what y'all want to see. You know what I'm saying? The greatest live told by Africans and a lot, lot more in store for y'all. You feel me? I'm doing all this for y'all, all these uploads, this consistency. I'm doing it for y'all because y'all deserve it. Y'all been here for me from the start. Y'all continue to support me, so I gotta get y'all that love and show that love um, and how much I, you know, appreciate y'all. So let's get, straight into, let's get straight into this one. The greatest lie ever told about Africans. Let's go. Video, I talked about what I consider the top 10 lies told about Africa. The biggest being the disingenuous idea that black people sold black people into slavery. I frequently speak about this oversimplification as we cannot apply 21st century Pan-African concepts to 17th or 18th century peoples. The overwhelming majority of African people back then identified in full with their own culture and linguistic group and not skin color or even phenotype. So what's been implied by that statement is ahistorical at best. But this lie about African people is only a subgroup of an even bigger lie. One of the first Bro, didn't we just see and let me know about this because y'all y'all got the more context on this, but let me know about this because didn't we just hear that, you know, just going based on like, you know, Africans, you know, allowed, you know, people to be enslaved and then they sold them to the Europeans. Didn't we just hear about that? But then he's saying that that's a lie and it's not that's not the full truth of it. Or is he just hold on, man, let me run it back a little bit by that statement is ahistorical at best. But this lie about African people is only a subgroup of an even bigger lie, one of the first lies ever told about our ancestors. What up African world, it's home team here and welcome back to another video of African history, culture, and worldview. By supporting this channel on Patreon, you're helping in the creation of these videos and supporting this content. If you'd like access to full courses and sources, or you simply want to show your support, you may do so by clicking the Patreon link in the description box below. For sure. Before we get into the greatest lie ever told about Africans, let's not forget some of the more well-known ones. The dark continent trope really became one of the most popular lies told about African people. The idea was that Africans were backward savages with no civilization, with the exception of Egypt, which they consistently place outside the sphere of African cultural achievement. Civilizations like ancient Ghana and West Africa weren't privy to much observation, despite it being known for its vast wealth and powerful military, which Muslim writers wrote about. Archaeological reports highlight ancient stone settlements that are believed to be a precursor to Sudanic civilization in the region, not to mention the art of the Yoruba people, who single-handedly forced the world to acknowledge African ingenuity and intelligence, as some try to assign the development of such works to ancient European travelers. Hmm. There's just too much to ignore when it comes to African civilization. The Dark Continent trope doesn't have any ground to stand on when we consider ancient Meroitic civilization and the great Kushite rulers who started what some scholars call 
the African Renaissance, mm. which was perhaps so pretty much people just trying to downplay, you know, um, Africa Africans culture, and like just saying like how he said they were just barbaric, do it this, just you know were wild, and they actually like he said form you know civilizations did um did amazing achievements. So people are just trying to downplay that. Um, and this is before he said he's get, we're getting to the greatest live told about Africans, but he's saying this as well. How dang, there's so much. That's the crazy part about. There's so much truth that's hidden from us for whatever. You know what I'm saying? For the reason you know they want us to find the truth. You know they want to keep us you know ignorant on things and you know. But you think about it. If you really go in the deep, if you really just do your research, I feel like it's it is hidden in a sense and it is not told to us. But I feel like it's just we as Americans or just people in general are just so. You know, um, even if we don't, we just take what we see, right? If whatever stone is, oh, that's facts. We don't even go a deeper level of stuff. Like, oh, is that actually true? Let's go deeper level in it, right? So you could blame everyone else. Like, oh, I didn't teach us this. Is, but the, the, this, is, this is common. Not, this is research. If you research it, if you, just, you would see the truth, right? So I'm not saying it's, it's good for them to not tell us the truth. But it's like, for the, at the same time, we are the ones who keep being ignorant and not even trying to go deeper level and confirming if things are true or not. You understand what I'm saying? So it's levels to it. So and right now I'm getting I'm on the truth tip on this channel right now. So this is all very fascinating to me. As I said, I love gaining knowledge, new understanding of, you know, certain things about my culture and the um, everyone's culture and just the culture and the history of the world, you know what I mean? Civilization. The dark continent trope doesn't have any ground to stand on when we consider ancient Meroitic civilization and the great Kushite rulers who started what some scholars call the African Renaissance, which was perhaps the first renaissance in human history. And let's not forget the largest stone structures south of the Sahara. Great Zimbabwe is just one of many stone structures in the southern African region, hmm. revealing the glorious era of Shona civilization. Another lie that consistently makes its rounds in our Western consciousness is that Africans had no writing systems and that they relied on oral communication. Hmm. Africans used diverse methods to communicate oral transmission simply being one of them. One of the more popular writing forms in West Africa is called Insibidi, believed to have originated amongst the Ekoi people of Nigeria. This writing form is largely viewed as ideographic or pictographic, conveying messages through symbols. Hmm. It's interesting that many writing forms in Africa were originally invented for a specific class of people and not intended for public dissemination. For example, Egyptian hieroglyphs were originally only known amongst the priesthood. This is also true for the secret writing form of the Songhai people, who use ideograms to communicate amongst a secret. Mm, I've always wanted to go, sorry for pause, I've always wanted to go deeper and not like understanding different languages around the world. Especially, you know, seeing this as well, and like how some languages are just based on, like you said, symbols or different images to portray a certain thing. It's always so fascinating to me because I only know English right now, which I feel like I feel like I should I should have been learning another language by now. But I really want to get into the to the thing of you know learning different languages and more about different cultures, especially Africa, and seeing like the different, you know, how the different culture is. You know what I'm saying? And seeing how it is, what, how it truly is, because it's always fascinating to me. Getting gaining more knowledge, gaining more of you know how things are in different places that are not where I live. You know. So, secret writing form of the Songhai people who use ideograms to communicate amongst a secret society or religious group. Interestingly enough, this writing form was only revealed to the public in 2010 by a Songhai scholar named Hassini Maiga. When dealing with African scripts, we can point to the Meroitic script of the Kushites, which to this day has not been fully deciphered. And that's really disappointing, as it would have been incredible to decipher Queen Amanorinus' Stella concerning her triumphant interaction with the Romans, in which her primary objectives were met in a treaty. Even Southern Africa has some hidden gems when it comes to writing forms. Joao de Barros, a distinguished Portuguese analyst of the mid-16th century, upon his visit to Zimbabwe, wrote a very important description concerning the discovery of a writing form in one of the vassal kingdoms of the Mwenimutapa Empire, called Batua. De Barros writes, Over the gate of the building is an inscription, which neither the Moorish traders who were there, nor others learned in inscriptions could read, nor does anyone know in what character it is written. We really don't know what Joe De Barros saw, but from his perspective, 
it seems clear that he viewed what he saw as a sort of writing form which was indigenous to the region. Mm. Not even the Swahili traders that accompanied him could decipher it. Unfortunately, we really never hear about this again. Anyway, all this babbling I'm doing is for a reason. The lies told about Africa are many, and I really want us to understand the full scope of it and how grossly inaccurate they are. What may have started out as innocent quickly turned into an agenda that we have yet to undo. Dang. But by far, the greatest lie told about Africa has nothing to do with civilization, writing, or any of that. The greatest lie told about Africa actually came from a religious idea. And as we all know, religion has been one of the most powerful forces in human history. Yeah. It's no wonder that this particular lie affected African people so greatly. It's nearly impossible to ignore the Abrahamic religions when speaking about Afro-descended people because these religions are a big part of our history, whether we like to admit it or not. They greatly influenced our spiritual paradigms and worldviews. This lie originating amongst the Abrahamic religions, as many of us know, is called the curse of Ham. I don't want to distract with theological history or debate, but in short, the curse of Ham is a misnomer because the curse was really bestowed upon Canaan. Jewish scholars believe that Ham was the ancestor of all black or African people, and this idea was adopted by Arabs, and then it was strategically broadened by Europeans to justify the enslavement and demonization of African people. Oh. This is the greatest lie that has been told to our people Whoa. because it didn't just have physical and psychological repercussions. It also added a spiritual component because some people within our community actually believe that it's true. And in our attempts at lifting this curse through achievement, acceptance, or spirituality, we turned into concerned, aimless wanderers, heightening confusion and self-hate within our community. It's one of the most powerful, invisible enemies That's we deep. have as Afro-descended people. That's deep. One that cannot be tangibly debunked. And although the belief in it has diminished greatly, the residuals may still be felt. Because no matter our spiritual beliefs today, many of us were raised with this dark paradigm. And so, I think it's important for us to speak on it, especially so that we won't pass this baggage on to the next generation. Mm. Dang. That's crazy. And that's why they said, because of this, this lie, that's why the Europeans, that the Arabs were, even though it's still immorally wrong either way, but thought it was whatever okay in their mind, whatever twisted their mind is, oh, let's enslave these people because of this, right? It's fucked up, bro. It was started from the Arabs and then he said, brought in with, by the Europeans and made it acceptable or welcoming to, you know, participate in this slavery. So that's that's deep, bro. Wait, God, the residual. That's very deep, y'all. This is the truth. I really appreciate this dude right here um, for speaking out on things like this. You know, the truth, the underlying truth, the the facts that were not um, told, and doing his research and realizing these things. Because um, that's 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 he's doing doing God's work right here. God's work. I mess with it. May so so it's, this will enlighten a lot of no individuals. Matter our spiritual beliefs today, many of us were raised with this dark paradigm. And so, I think it's important for us to speak on it, especially so that we won't pass this baggage on to the next generation. Anyway, guys, I'm all out. Do you think this is the greatest lie that's ever been told about African people? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like these videos and want to help in its continued production, consider supporting the home team on Patreon.com. The link is in the description box below. Know thyself. Remember your ancestors. Peace. Know thyself. What do y'all think about this one? Let me, let me know uh, down below what y'all think about this one. This was a very, very interesting video for sure. As all the different, you know what I'm saying, y'all the ones that suggested this, so I have you seen one of the videos that y'all suggest, that y'all recommend, have been very, very fascinating, very, very informative in so many ways, and again, this whole journey on my channel, even though we just started, we just, we're just scratching the surface, so, 
you know, transformative to me, you know. I keep saying I love gaining knowledge. I love finding out about the truth, the deeper level of things, the deeper meaning of things. And and it's just this this journey so far has been very, very transformative. So, and we're just getting started. So, again, I have a lot more videos to get to. I have a lot more videos on deck. So, be sure to stay tuned to the channel. And, again, all my video uploads I get from y'all in the comments down below. So, be sure to keep letting the comments down below with the, uh, all the suggestions with videos that y'all want to see next from me. You know, um, but y'all know the deal is road to 50k, so you know the grind doesn't stop. So be sure to uh, turn on those post notifications because these videos will continuously be posted. And uh, yeah, bro, appreciate y'all for the love, appreciate y'all for the support, appreciate y'all for the suggestion. Um, suggestion, and uh, these videos will continue to be rolled out. We continue to be consistent for y'all. I'm gonna continue to get these uploads out for y'all because y'all deserve that. You feel me? Y'all been with that here for me from the start, so I want to keep on being here for y'all. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I upload these videos forever for y'all, and I got y'all. Much love. Thank y'all for all the support and everything. And yeah, more videos coming very, very soon. Like, comment, subscribe, share if you see more videos. It's your boy, King Supreme. I'll catch y'all next time, homies.